what's your name? Rose. And where are you? Right, where are you going? You're in... Hull Bay. Hull Bay. Billy. And Rose. Billy and Rose. I'm Billy. I'm Rose's class teacher. Yeah, I, 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 absolutely okay. You're absolutely okay. So Rose has sort of lots of verbal language now. And I think to begin with, it was just about learning all these different keywords and what they meant. Um, so it's for Rose in particular, with her processing, she needs a lot of time to be able to answer questions and to understand what's being said and what's being asked. So we introduce sort of like symbols and size to support with learning keywords. And for Rose having the approach where she can learn it through signs and symbols is ways just the verbal language helps her to process and understand what's being said. But now Rose has loads of verbal language. She's able to communicate really well with us, telling us how you feel. Yeah, you feel happy. Telling us what you like and don't like. Don't, don't like. <laughs> yeah, you don't like carrots, do you? Carrots. Oh, no, no. Yeah, no, no. Strawberry. Yeah. You like strawberries and sausages? Oh. And what did we just do that you like? We went on the bus. On the bus. Bike. Bike. Yeah. And your favourite lesson is? Women. Lovely. I think there's lots of students that have so much going on and it's really important that we're asking them and including them in decision. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I think it's really important that we still include them in decision making because at the end of the day we're supporting them with their lives just because they don't communicate the way we communicate doesn't mean they can't communicate and it doesn't mean they shouldn't be viewed and valued the same way the rest of us because we think everyone's great good teacher thanks but it's been a delight having her in Shell Bay Friends. With friends. Friends. And you've got lots of friends in Shelby, yeah. Mm-hmm. You absolutely. Yeah, you do. Thank you.